This is a real exciting find, which I do not want to have lost in the sands of time. So I want to cover it now prior to the full study being published. Now the caveats in reference to that. This is an animal study. Now obviously it's in reference to ginger root or a bioactive compound from ginger root called 6 gingerol. I would like to have an equivalent dosage for people, but however those studies have not been conducted as of yet. Nevertheless, it holds a lot of promise and the information is valuable and since I do not want it to get lost in the sands of time, I want to present it to you now because it may aid other individuals in the future dramatically, especially in the conditions associated with what we're researching here in the animal model. They looked at antiphospholipid syndrome and lupus. And the finding was just amazing. But let us get right into the research as follows. New research finds ginger counters certain autoimmune diseases in mice. The main bioactive compound of ginger root lowers autoantibody production and helps halt disease progression in mice with antiphospholipid syndrome and lupus. Now, that doesn't mean it can't be expanded out to other domains. However, without the risk of interjecting publisher bias, we have to keep in mind this was done on these primary conditions. According to a Michigan Medicine-led study published in JCI Insight, the main bioactive compound of ginger root 6 gingerol is therapeutic in countering the mechanism that fuels certain autoimmune diseases in mice. Researchers specifically looked at lupus, a disease which attacks the body's own immune system and is often associated condition antiphospholipid syndrome, which causes blood clots since both cause widespread inflammation and damage organs over time. In mice with either antiphospholipid syndrome or lupus, 6 gingerol prevented neutrophil extracellular trap release, otherwise known as NEP, which is triggered by the autoantibodies that the diseases produce. I'm going to move a little forward, and this will give you a little bit more insight into the backstory. Neutrophil extracellular traps, or NETs, comes from white blood cells called neutrophils, saying the author. These sticky spiderweb-like structures are formed when antibodies interact with receptors on the neutrophil surface. According to Ali, these webs play an important role in the pathogenesis of lupus and antiphospholipid syndrome, where they triggered auto body formation and contribute to blood vessel clotting and damage. The study question was, quote, Will the anti-inflammatory properties of ginger extend to neutrophils and specifically can this natural medicine stop neutrophils from making what we call neutrophil extracellular traps or nets that contribute to disease progression? And I love this line because it says it so eloquently. Quote, this preclinical study in mice offers a surprising and exciting yes. According to the researcher, I discovered that after giving six ginger oil, the mice had lower levels of these nets. Their tendency to make clots was also drastically reduced, and six ginger oil appeared to inhibit neutrophil enzymes called phosphodiesterases, which in turn reduce neutrophil activation. But most surprising find was that the mice, regardless of whether they had antiphospholipid syndrome or lupus, had reduced antibodies suggesting the inflammatory cycle, autoantibody stimulating nets, which stimulate more autoantibodies, was broken. Now, that's going to ask, or I should say, reveal a lot more questions in the future in reference to other autoimmune diseases. However, in the case of what we're focusing here on is the outcome in this particular research for something so simple as a bioactive compound from ginger root, right beneath us, no pun intended, that is an amazingly, amazing promising find for many individuals, at least in this case, that may be plagued with this particular ailment. But now we're going to move to the abstract. Again, the full study is not available as of yet, but the conclusion from the abstract says it best, and of course, I like to have the DOI citation there and lead you to the abstract itself so you can look into the information on your own or eventually when they publish the full study. But to proceed, in summary, this study is the first to demonstrate a protective role of ginger-derived compounds in the context of lupus and importantly provides potential mechanism for these effects via phosphodiesterase, inhibition, and attenuation of neutrophil activity. Meaning, 
We'll have to see what the future holds. But just the same, ginger or a six dash ginger all or a ginger root, however you want to word it, an amazing, amazing impact as far as how it regulates the body system, at least in reference to antiphospholipid syndrome and lupus in the study outcome. How that plays a role with other autoimmune diseases in the future, we'll have to see. But the reason I don't want to get, I don't want to have these type of research articles buried in the sands of time, so to say, is because you normally would think with such incredible breakthroughs, and this is why I do these videos, that it have incredibly great media coverage. But this kind of says it best. Let's let's look at this real fast. Twenty news outlets, four blogs, forty-six tweeters, whatever that may be, and two Facebook pages. Effectively, by me doing this video. I am doubling the Facebook page post of an incredible breakthrough, which should be on the tip of everyone's tongues, especially in reference to autoimmune disorders. So we'll go from two, and with a little help that I can present, we'll make it four. But again, Ralph signing off for reference to this. And also, as usual, keep in mind, we do data analytics on Saturday or Sunday morning, however you want to look at it. In reference to the COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 dynamics, which are all welcome to purview for through as we review it on that time. And a little technical in reference to data analytics, we use Python uh, from a data science aspect. And But you can get an idea of the chart and so on and so forth from a different perspective as what's presented to you in the media per se. Because sometimes incredible research, like for example in the ginger all, you maybe not rely so much on the media since obviously they have a hard time understanding or spinning such an incredible wonderful wonderful service that these research present to individuals which are in need again ralph trichiano signing off thank you very much for listening look forward to see you all once again next week or if you should choose saturday night or sunday morning i'd be more than glad to see you there or at least know that you may have gratitude thank you see you all next time ralph signing off Bye.